What's going on guys, Leo Pozzo Productions. Thanks very much for tuning in. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at a brand new product here from Hollyland. And no, it's not a wireless HDMI unit. How about, it's a wireless microphone, the Lark 150 from Hollyland. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Wireless microphone from Hollyland. After having a few other wireless HDMI transmitters, I know that they take pride in their product and they deliver a great product. So I was in actually in the market for a wireless microphone this time around. I actually wanted one that had two microphones available and this was the kit for me, the Lark 150. So I've already unboxed it. I've already used it for like the last week now. So I've done a few tests myself. I've played around with some camera settings and some audio settings. I just wanna share with you guys as much as possible, but I do not wanna make the video too long. I might actually have to make another video or another few more videos after this one. So let me know in the comment section down below if there's something specific you guys wanna see or any questions that you guys may have. With that being said, let's just jump right into it. So like I said, it does come with two microphones. Here it is, this is the charging hub. The charging case and here is the charging cable like you would do for your like your phone you plug it into the wall you plug it into the back here type C and there you go you charge your devices what devices do we have microphone one microphone two and the receiver so these are wireless microphones and the receivers right there mounted on my camera my camera is the Panasonic GH5 and I would like to share with you my camera settings. So the mic level adjust setting within the GH5, the Panasonic menu, is set to negative 12. So I've done my research with other Panasonic GH5 users and it's very common for them to have their camera setting, microphone level setting to negative 12. So let's continue. That's my camera settings. Now for the receiver, the Hollyland Lark 150 receiver that's mounted there, it's set at negative six dB and I'm recording in the mono mode, the mono setting. This is the built-in microphone here on this transmitter. So I have a built-in microphone option or I can plug in these lavalier microphone. Here's a lavalier microphone that plugs in right here at the top if I wanted to use this. And I can do the same thing with this microphone right here. It has a built-in mic and here's the lavalier microphone. With that, we also have these two little wind muffs, wind screens that we can mount right on top of our microphones, the built-in mic on both of them. So if we're in an outdoor environment and maybe it's windy, we can help by using these, avoiding some of the wind and maybe possibly even some of the ambient noise. Here is a little handy dandy bag that's also included here that just allows us to kind of put all of our little small pieces in here if needed. But I just wanna emphasize guys that this little docking station, little hub, is just kind of so amazing to me because it charges our devices as soon as it just like pops open and we remove our devices it's going to power on our devices our microphone or receivers are going to power on and they're also going to tell us how much battery life and along with that as soon as you take them out of here they also pair to each other the two microphones pair to the receiver or the one microphone whatever you're using pairs to the receiver and the blue light is illuminated showing that it's paired so when we put it in the docking station it will also tell us how much battery life and we are charging. This has an internal battery. Once we plug it into the wall and charge the internal battery, plug in our devices right in here and they're gonna charge. And that's just kind of fantastic because that means that I don't always need to be beside a power source plugging in my microphone all the time. I can kind of just charge the hub and charge my devices every time they kind of maybe run down or run low. Feels and looks good, nice clean cut, well designed. I think that's it that I gotta say about the charging hub. Talking about output, options on the receiver we actually have an output option to listen to headphones so I have my headphones right over here that I can just simply monitor the audio so I can just plug in right into the receiver listen to the audio or I can plug into my Panasonic GH5 and listen to the audio so the fact that the Hollyland Lark 150 has an output jack on the receiver is just to me a standard feature but it is a, an important feature that we definitely do need to take advantage of again monitoring your audio is very important let's just have a quick look at the transmitter here that I'm using with the built-in microphone so as you can see right now it's facing this way which is showing the logo and it's a little bit more bulky 
bulkier. So just to give you guys an example or maybe some ideas, because depending on what you are wearing or what your client's wearing and where you plan on mounting it, you may want to face it in the other direction. So just simply turn it around and clip it on the shirt like so. And now it's facing this way. It looks a little bit smaller, compact. Maybe if I was wearing a dress shirt, I can put it kind of even sideways behind the tie in the pocket. It just looks a little bit more smaller this way and it's not really kind of showing a logo. So that is an option as well, which again, this in itself is an audio test. I'm testing the microphone audio to see if it sounds any different by turning it the opposite way and not having the logo exposed or showing. So since we recorded all the audio so far in this video with the built-in microphone right here on this transmitter, let's go ahead and plug in this lavalier microphone just to do a quick little audio test and then I'll mount it on my shirt. So before I plug it in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the mute button here at the side. So you could just press the mute button here at the side. You actually know that it's on mute because the yellow LED light is on here at the top, which tells you that it is muted. So to unmute it, you just go ahead and press it and it turns blue. So we're back to blue. We have battery. We're using the lavalier microphone. I'm using it here in my hand. This is what it's sounding like. Overall, from my test so far, it sounds pretty good. Let me know down in the comment section down below. I'm approximately at least maybe five, six inches away from it right now. I think what we should do is tuck away this wire, mount it on my shirt, and see what it sounds like. So here's a quick audio test with the lavalier microphone mounted here on my shirt. This is the Hollyland Lark 150 lavalier microphone. I plugged in the lav into the transmitter simply with the 3.5 millimeter port jack right here. And we have a green light on the transmitter. We have a blue light on the transmitter. Blue light means we are connected to the receiver we're communicating, it's picking up the audio, everything's great. If that blue light is flashing, that's not good. That means that it's not connected and you're probably dropping out your audio. So pay attention to that. With this green little light right here, this green light right here means that you have battery, you have power, so that's good. When the battery's low on the transmitter, the green light is going to basically turn red. That's going to let you know that the battery is low. When it's charging, it actually turns orange. That's the color options that we have. Again, red, battery low, green, battery good, orange, it's charging. Is it ready, bro? Your egg is ready. Now I'm doing mine. Uh, how's the microphone there? I don't know. I can't. I can't hear. Only you can hear. Oh yeah, that's right. I got the so, headphones off. So this is for you. And I'm getting a butter knife now. Careful. All right, so we're set on mono right now. The test before this was stereo. There was stereo, two microphones, me and Christine, but now I got it set to mono. And now your bread is ready, and now, so is your egg. Now my bread is ready, so is my egg. Looking pretty good. <laughs> oh, this sounds good, like a cooking channel. I can hear the it frying up. You can hear it sizzling? Yeah, and you can talk to me nice. So, 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 so yeah, tell me. <laughs> so right now my egg is sizzling. Yeah, it is. And I'm sh shortly going to add some cheese. Mmm, righty. Why aren't you eating your st your egg hot? Are you making all these noises? Yeah. All right, so now I'm using that save setting again. I got two microphones on. They're both at uh, zero dB. It sounds like one is lower than the other. Babe, say something. I am flipping over my egg, about to grab my tea. Should I have a sip? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Can you catch that? Yeah, I can hear it. You hear it sizzling?
Okay guys, so now we're doing a test with the Hollyland Lark 150. I'm using the one microphone here that's built into the transmitter. The receiver's over there on my camera. I have it set to mono, negative 12 dB on the camera, and the receiver of the Hollyland Lark 150 is set to negative 6 dB. So right now I'm approximately 10, 12 feet away from the camera. I'm using the windscreen this time. Again, we are outdoors. We have a little bit of a wind environment. So this is what it's sounding like right now. We're gonna do some distance tests. So this is what it's sounding like right now. Let me go ahead and take some 20 steps back and we'll see how the audio sounds from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So here we are, 20 big steps. I just took back from the camera. I'm gonna say we are at the 20, 25 meter mark right now. This is how the audio is sounding with the Lark 150. I'm gonna go ahead and adjusted my levels. I set these levels that I set on my camera and the receiver because I was monitoring my audio with the headphones to make sure that I was not clipping and it was not recording the audio too high. So this is what it sounds like, the 20, 25 meter mark. Let's go ahead and take another 20 steps back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, took another 20 big steps back. We are almost at the halfway mark. I'm gonna say we're at the 40, 50 meter mark right now. Here I am facing the camera. Hopefully this is how the audio sounds. I feel the wind breeze kind of picking up a bit. So I'm hoping that this little windscreen is actually helping a bit. and face the camera again, this is what it sounds like. Let me go ahead and take 20 more steps back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so I'm gonna say we've passed the halfway mark. We are probably in the 70 meter ballpark range. Here I am facing the camera with the built-in microphone from Lark 150, the Hollyland. And let's go ahead and turn. This is what it sounds like once again, me facing the camera. So let me go ahead and take another 20 steps back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay guys, so I'm gonna say we are approximately the 85, 90 meter mark right now. We're almost at the end of the soccer field. This is what it's sounding like me facing the camera. And once again, this is what it sounds like me facing the camera. Let me go ahead and take the remainder steps and we'll use the whole soccer field to see if it picks up at the 100 meter mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so here we are at the end of the soccer field, the full 100 meters. That's how far the receiver is on the camera. We are using the built-in microphone here on the Lark 150. We're pretty much pushing it to the super duper max, even beyond what it's recommended. Hopefully the audio is coming through. Hopefully it's coming in nice and clear and crisp. Back facing the camera once again. This is uh, towards the end of the test here with the built-in microphone. This is the 100 meter mark with the Hollyland Lark 150 built-in microphone. Let's go ahead and take some steps back, walk back towards the camera. The built-in microphone, Hollyland Lark 150. This is the distance test using the built-in microphone. All right guys, so now we're using the lavalier microphone here with the Hollyland Lark 150. I'm approximately 10 feet away from the camera. I have the lavalier microphone 
mounted right here on my shirt. I have the transmitter right here in my pocket. One thing that I gotta just make sure that I don't press the mute button by mistake. So let me just double check. Yep, it is not muted. It looks like we're still recording the audio. So let's go ahead and do some tests with the lavalier microphone in this outdoor environment. 18, 19, 20. So here we are. We just took back another 20 steps. It is, I can feel the breeze. I'm using the lavalier microphone right here. I don't have any kind of like uh, windscreen wind muff on it. I do have the little foam one that kind of comes with it. So again, at the 40, 50 meter mark approximately, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my back to the camera and see how the audio sounds. So here I am, my back towards, towards the, my back turned towards the camera. We are at the 40, 50 mark, meter mark approximately. And this is how the audio is sounding with the lavalier microphone from the Lark 150. Okay, so now I'm facing the camera again. Hopefully the audio, you guys can still hear me. So there it is. We're completed the distance test. I just went all the way with both microphones, 100 meters. We stopped in between. I turned my back. We tried lavalier. We tried built-in mic. We tried the windscreen. So there it is. That's the end of the distance test for now. Okay guys, so right now we're gonna do an obstacle test right now with the Hollyland Lark 150. I'm using the lavalier microphone. I'm gonna use this building to my advantage here to kind of see if I go behind the building, if the microphone cuts out. So let's go ahead and do that. Right now I'm approximately 10 feet away from the microphone. Let's go to that corner. We'll go to the back corner and then we'll go over there to the my left hand side. So let's go ahead and do that and see if this building affects the audio. Test, test, microphone test. Just walking over here towards the edge of the building. This is what the audio is sounding like. I'm right here at the corner of the building. I'm gonna say this is approximately at least maybe a good 10 meters or so. This is how far we are from the microphone. Let's go ahead and walk to that corner and see if the audio cuts out. And I'm gonna pop out the corner right now. This is how it sounds when I pop out of the corner when the building is not in my way. Again, this is a brick building. It's approximately maybe uh, 16 by 20 feet big. So I would say it's a pretty strong obstruction between the receiver and the, the transmitter. So let's go ahead, we'll walk back around. So now, here I am. I'm at the corner of the building and that's how the audio sounded with the built-in microphone here from Hollyland Lark 150. Again, my audio settings on my camera and the receiver are set to exactly the same. The environment that we're in right now is a little bit more noisier. Mm -hmm. We have some traffic going by over here onto my right hand side. Using the built-in microphone here on the transmitters right here built in to the transmitter. Juliana, you got anything to say so far? Um, actually, yes. So when you're behind a building and the camera is kind of far back, you can, the connection actually cuts out a little. Right. And when you're really far back, um, it cuts out too. Right. So the better thing is to do is to be close to it, but not so close to it like this, right. but be kind of close to the camera, so it doesn't cut out. I'm pretty impressed, it's a nice unit. I'm <laughs> uh, just looking forward to go back and hearing how the audio sounds. Good job, Juliana, thanks for your help. Hey. Bye. <laughs>